Hey guys, today we're going to be reacting to the top 10 most dangerous water slides. You ready? If I cringe or get like at all worried about the person, then I lose the challenge. I have three lives and if I do that three times, then I lose the challenge. So yeah guys, let's get right into it. Let's go! You might not think of danger when you think of water slides. In fact, you might assume that water slides are safe. But the water slides on this list will have you rethinking your assumptions. Here are the top 10 most dangerous water slides. Number 10. Uh, Insano, mm -hmm. Brazil Beach Park, Brazil. The Insano slide is insanely steep and is located at the beach of Porto das Dunas in Aquiraz in Brazil. The 41 meter high slide sends its sliders down a near vertical drop and into an exit pool below. The slide opened in 1989 I would never go on that. and when it did, Comment it was down the below tallest if you guys water would slide actually in the world. Go on that. The slide is not for the faint of heart though. In fact, employees at the water park say that they enjoy watching the sliders panic at the top of the slide and that they have even seen sliders cry while sliding. That's the ride cruel. is only five seconds long, but because it is so steep, some sliders lose contact with the This is just the time for an advert, guys. Just the time for an advert. Slide and actually become airborne during the drop. It will be as a Because the slide video, is so dangerous, <laughs> sliders are instructed on oh, how guys. to ride the slide. They must remain on their backs with their arms and legs crossed. The slide, which gives a great view of the Atlantic Ocean at the top, is no longer the tallest slide in the world, but it remains the fastest, as sliders can reach speeds of a heart-pounding 65 miles per hour. That's insane, guys. Like, 65 nine, miles an hour, that is Aqualoon mental. at Wet n Wild, Gold Coast, Australia. The Aqua Loop is a near vertical water slide that sends its riders oh, down I've a 10 meter one. drop and into mm. an inclined pool. During the seven second slide, riders can reach a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and can experience a G-force of 2.5. The slide, which was designed by Whitewater West Aquarina, relies on sliders achieving enough speed to make it around the loop. However, not all sliders do. A woman sued the park for $400,000 when she got stuck on the slide. She was unable to make the loop and found herself stuck at the bottom of the loop. This she is pulled why herself out through an I escape never hatch, but she experienced several ever, injuries. Ever, ever Nonetheless, go the on Aqua like loop continues to be a popular, albeit dangerous slides, slide like, at Wet n Wild. I don't really in fact, go on the park itself is the slides. busiest water on park in bombs, Australia so I can't get stuck. and the eighth busiest water park in the world. Thousands of sliders ride the dangerous That is actually number eight, annually. so that's quite, <laughs> quite cool. Number eight, the black hole, wet and wild, Orlando, oh, Florida. I've seen this one. The black hole this water slide is an inline tube slide located at what is considered to be America's first water park. Wet and Wild Orlando is owned by NBC Universal and was founded by the creator of SeaWorld, George Millay. The menacing black tubes of the black hole look ominous, and rightfully so. The black hole has faced numerous lawsuits over the years, including a $1.73 million payout to a man who was severely injured in 1994 when he struck something during the ride. Part of the danger of the slide stems from the timing of the ride. It takes a two-person tube 23 seconds to complete the ride. However, the staff is told to send people down at 20-second intervals. This does not leave enough time for people to safely exit the ride before the next riders are sent down, making it a dangerous sliding experience. That's why you don't hire Number seven, stupid the people. The steamer slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario. The steamer slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario is a dangerous tube slide that has repeatedly injured its riders. In fact, in 2015, Calypso Water Park was facing 20 separate charges from injured people. Riders of the what? steamer slide sit on a tube, slide through a dark tunnel, Guys, that's and then spin around a bowl. However, when the slide was investigated, it was discovered that the steamer slide had developed a buckle in an area of the slide that was causing the tubes to flip over. The Technical Standards and Safety Act, 
which oversees Ontario's amusement park rides, accused the park of negligence and of not having the proper equipment to ensure the safety of its riders. And although some of the charges were dismissed, the park was found guilty on six accounts, resulting in a payout of $500,000 in damages. The sheer volume of injuries attests to the dangerous nature of the steamer slide. Number 6. The Vertigo Slide, Aqualandia Water Park, Spain The Vertigo Slide in Spain's Aqualandia Water Park is the highest water slide in Europe and the highest capsule slide in the world. The slide, which opened in the summer of 2013, Would you took go two on and that a half months to are... build and Your stands mental. proudly at 110 feet. Hats off to the you. vertigo slide is actually two slides, the red slide being the taller of the two. Sliders stand at the top of the slide on a trap door, which is opened by an operator who presses a button. We've already Once seen the button two of those is pressed, guys. the trap door is released and sliders are plunged down a three second slide where they can reach speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. The ride itself and the speed the riders experience is dangerous. However, the trap door presents its own dangers. In July 2014, the trap door failed to fully open, and a man was severely injured when he was sent through the partially opened trap door. The man and his injuries were attended to by park staff, but the slide was reopened a mere 10 minutes after the incident. Needless to say, Guys, this dangerous slide made headlines in the news as a result. How can you open a slide after someone just got really, really badly Number injured? Five, that just stupid. Cannonball Falls Action Park, New Jersey. The actual Cannonball Falls water slide itself is not that dangerous, but at the end of the slide, sliders are sent on a 10-foot drop into the pool below. The fall of Cannonball Falls has you resulted in countless injuries. You wouldn't think that was 10 foot, would you? And was plagued You'd think with that's problems more like three. right from its opening. In fact. Cannonball Falls has the highest number of reported injuries of any water slide in the entire state of New Jersey. Sliders have reported shoulder, That's neck, and head injuries as a result of the 10-foot drop into the water. The park was actually told to shut down the slide at one point, but despite numerous injuries, the slide remained open and sliders kept on sliding and kept on getting hurt. Cannonball Falls is located at so Action right. Park, New Jersey which is notorious for its dangerous rides. It has been nicknamed Accident Park and Class Action Park due to the obscene number of reported injuries. Number 4. The Scorpion's Tail, Noah's Ark Water Park, Wisconsin Dells Noah's Ark's water park is a 70-acre water park with more than 50 attractions throughout the park. 70 In fact, acres. Noah's Ark That's is amazing. the largest water park in the United States. It is also home right, to one so? of the most dangerous slides in the world. The Scorpion's Tail is a menacing water slide where sliders are sent on a harrowing ride, including a 55-foot drop, a 70-degree angle plunge, and a 60-degree angle loop. When the slide first opened in 2010, Guys, it was the only water slide in the world to have full loop-de-loop -loop and was the first upside-down looping body slide. Although it is not the fastest slide around, Sliders do reach a speed of 30 miles per hour while on the 400 foot long slide. They also wait in a coffin like chamber at the start of the slide for the floor to fall out from We've under already them. seen like and four of those the loop, with the chamber. 27 and feet the in the air. Floor just goes. The scorpion's tail cost $1 million US to build, and despite its dangers, it remains a crowd favorite amongst water slide enthusiasts. Number three. The Leap of Faith, oh, Atlantis Waterpark, Bahamas. I've seen this one. This Bahamas. is scary. The Leap of Faith is a beautifully constructed water slide that sits on a lovely Mayan-themed temple. The Leap of Faith, though, despite its beautiful setting, has been called the scariest water slide in the world. The Leap of Faith, which opened in 1998, consists of a near-vertical 60-foot drop. Shoulders are cramping, And as guys. if the drop weren't dangerous enough, once the drop is complete, riders are sent through a lagoon of sharks. Sliders, somewhat safe inside a clear acrylic tunnel, are sent whizzing through the lagoon, where sharks approach the two. Some sharks are literally only inches away. The sharks, which are hammerhead and Caribbean reef sharks, swim freely in the lagoon as sliders swiftly slide past, praying that nothing goes wrong with acrylic tubing. Number 2. The Verrucht Schlitterbahn Water Park, Kansas City 
The Verrat, which is German for crazy or insane, was destined for fame when it opened on July 10th, 2014. It was the tallest water slide in the world at the time. The Verrat, at 168 feet, cost a staggering $3.6 million to build. And although it did achieve fame as the tallest water slide in the world, it also achieved to create. as an you accident on the slide led to the criminal arrest of the park owner. Don't a 10 me year old boy was killed on the slide when his raft went airborne. Investigations pointed to a number of unsafe aspects on the slide. The See, nets if that surrounding happens the slide on your water slide, you shut the water the slide down. The on the raft were deemed unsafe, and the ride should have had an unstop mechanism installed to prevent rafts from going airborne. All in all, the Verrucht was a dangerous slide that did not meet safety standards. It was shut down on August 7th, 2016. Thank you. Number one, the Cannonball Loop, Action Park, New Jersey. A park that is nicknamed Accident Park is sure to have more than one dangerous water slide. And although Cannonball Falls and its 10 foot drop is one of the most dangerous water slides on this list, Action Park is also home to the most dangerous water slide ever built. One look at the insane cannonball loop, and you can see why this water slide could pose several safety issues. Cannonball like, loop, just, which was an enclosed water slide just, why with a would you build that? It's a death loop at the end, has a set of disturbing stories surrounding it. Before the slide was officially opened, the owner of the park reportedly offered to pay employees $100 to try out the slide. The employees suffered nosebleeds and numerous injuries while sliding. Furthermore, when the park owner sent a dummy down the slide, the dummy apparently came out the other side without its head. However, despite these massive red flags, the slide was still open. Shortly after its opening though, a woman got stuck at the top of the loop, forcing the park to install an escape hatch should it happen again. Needless to say, the cannonball loop didn't last long. It was shut down by the advisory board right, on so. Carnival Amusement Park ride safety after only one month due to safety issues. Clearly one of the most dangerous water slides of all time, the Cannonball Loop has slid its way into the top spot on our list of top 10 dangerous water slides. Check out my previous video. Guys, can you believe that I actually won the challenge? I didn't even flinch once guys can you believe that i genuinely can't even believe that being me so i hope you guys enjoyed that i really enjoyed watching it with you guys and please please leave a like subscribe and turn on notifications it would mean the world to me and yeah guys i'll see you in the next one uh, bye bye <laughs>